A Frisco woman says her neighbor saved her house on Christmas morning after a family pet accidentally started a fire in the kitchen. Video from inside the home shows the fire on Megan Black's stove. One of her two dogs had gotten past the gate and tried to get some cookies on the kitchen counter, turning on the stove. She called her neighbor, who worked to put up the fire out. Fox News' Peyton Yeager spoke with that homeowner and her neighbor tonight, and Peyton's live with more. Peyton. Stephen, all of this happened within a matter of minutes. Before the Frisco Fire Department could even arrive on scene, the neighbor fought the fire herself, and it was all captured on video. Come on, come on, come on, let's go outside. Come on. The accidental arsonist behind this near catastrophic Christmas morning kitchen fire is named Twitch. This is Twitch. Megan Black was in Salina opening presents with family when she received an alert. Her smoke alarms at her Frisco home were going off. I'm sitting there watching her in action on my camera. Like, I can't do anything. I'm just literally watching her save my house. While Black's sister called 911, Black called her neighbor, Sissy Blazier, who ditched her Christmas morning coffee and ran next door. Maybe female mom instinct, I don't know, but just trying. It's right over your stove. It's over your stove. If we rewind Black's home camera system just 15 minutes, the cause of the fire is clear. One of the dog gates blocking off the kitchen was left open. So the three-year-old Silver Lab hopped up on the stove and helped herself to cookies while accidentally holding down the knob. And she pushed just so perfectly and turned the stove on. A 10-year-old boxer named Asher watched from afar as the flames started to spread. When Blazier arrived, she quickly tried to get the dogs outside and then tackled the fire. And so I look over and I see her center gas burner on. And so I just, I guess, instinctively walked over and just turned it off. Luckily, Blazier didn't get burned, but through the thick smoke, she grabbed a bowl and went to the sink. Okay, I think I got it out. I'm getting it out. I just started filling a bowl at that point while I had her on the phone and putting as much water as I could. And then I, I think I walked over and just started throwing it. Before Frisco fire even arrived, the flames were out. Both dogs were safe along with a bearded dragon. Black finally made it back home. I just broke down because my home was on fire. Yeah, it was terrifying. That whole day was just kind of a blur. The last two weeks have been devoted to rebuilding and processing what could have happened. I was never mad at her, never. Never, no. Black, just thankful she had a hero to call. Literally an angel next door, yeah. Yeah. I think there were a lot of angels that day, and it wasn't me, even though she says it was, but there were a lot of things going on that day that just worked. The Blacks are staying in a rental right now, at least for the next four to six months. The entire downstairs had smoke damage, so the downstairs needs to be completely gutted out. But thankfully, no one and no animals were injured. Steve, back to you. All right, Peyton Yeager right outside the fire house tonight. Thank you very much, Peyton.